Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, May 14th, and it's time for Morning Mercies with Pastor Big Al. I'm Pastor Big Al, and I have my Bible with me uh, this morning. I also have a cup of coffee in my Jerusalem cup. Reminding us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, especially today. Today is their Independence Day. On May 14th, 1948, Israel became a nation. And so today, uh, Israel celebrates 76 years uh, as a nation. And so that's pretty awesome. So we need to pray uh, for the peace of of Jerusalem and the peace of Israel. Now, uh, I told you yesterday that we will be looking at uh, this time frame between when Jesus ascends into heaven and the Holy Spirit comes on the day of Pentecost. Uh, it was a 10-day period of time, and so we're in that period of time. And so we've been looking at the ascension and some things that were taking place and happening. And so this morning's message is, is titled, Famous Last Words. Famous Last Words. So let's take a listen to this again. It's... Uh, Luke chapter 24, verse 50 through 53, it says, Then Jesus led them to Bethany and lifted his hands to heaven, and he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up to heaven. And so they worshiped him and then returned to Jerusalem filled with great joy. And they spent all their time in the temple praising God. So Jesus, the last thing that he does is he, he blesses them. He raises his hands and he, he says a blessing over them. Now, what was that blessing? The Apostle Paul ends all of his letters with a blessing. And most of the time, it's may the grace of Christ be with you all. The grace of Christ be with you all. That sounds like a good blessing. Uh, the Apostle Peter, uh, he ends his letter with peace be with you all. Peace be with you all. Now, in 2 Corinthians, he ends that letter, the Apostle Paul ends that letter with the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So that sounds like a great blessing, but what would Jesus say? In Matthew uh, chapter 28, Jesus does say that, that he will be with them, uh, surely he will be with them even to the very ends. Of the age, and so maybe that's what he said that that he his presence would be with him. We really don't know the blessing that Jesus had uh, said to his disciples on that day, but whatever he said, it it encouraged them to continue on. It encouraged them to to go and to joyfully go and to worship God in the temple, and so I. I pray that we would reflect on, on the things that Jesus would say to us. Something that would encourage us. What would encourage you to, to carry on until he returns? What would encourage you to be joyful as we talked about yesterday? And I pray that, that you hear Christ saying that blessing over you. Let me have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your many blessings today. Thank you for your grace and your mercies that are new every morning. I pray that you would guide us this day. Lord, you know the obstacles that we have to go through today. And I, I just imagine that you have this blessing that would encourage us to carry on through this day, no matter what we might face today, that we would go through it with, with grace, with peace, with joy. Have your way in everything. And we ask these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. I pray y'all have a blessed and amazing day.